What is the ultimate nature of reality? This most first principled question when we're born that we must ask. What is our relationship with God, with source, with creation, with the divine? Why have we not made this the most important question that society asks, that we ask ourselves, that we ask each other, and that we collectively figure out what is our relationship with God, source, creation, the divine? What's the purpose of the human experience? Is it to maximize consciousness, to maximize meaning, creativity, experience, love, life? Is it to have God, source, creation, the divine creatively express itself? Like a big symphony with different instruments, rhythms, melodies, and harmonies, each of us are a contributor in that symphony. And the music we are playing is what we are all collectively experiencing. Another analogy for this is a big painting with different paints, brushes, strokes, and sizes. Another one is the stars with different sizes, brightnesses, and planets in orbit. Another is like cells with different DNA purposes and expressions. The similarity between all of these is that we co-create in harmony as divine beings with unique gifts. How do you bring your gift forth? Just like everyone has different experiences with God, source, creation, the divine, everyone also has different experiences with bringing their unique gifts forth. A couple principles. One, know thyself. Two, sincere self-work clear our channel so we can anchor the divine. Know our ancestral lineage. Know our childhood. Know our subconscious. Know our shadows. And be in control of our desires. Seeing life like a deck of cards, every card as a moment in time, stacking from your birth until your death. Some of those cards had traumas on those cards. Some of those cards have triggers on those cards. When we give that card love, it becomes, on the other side, our greatest treasures. We must heal if we don't repair, we repeat. Love every moment of your past, present, and future. Surrender. Amor fati. Be in love with fate. And flow like water with the Tao. Level up your character, gain experience points, gain accolades, see synchronicities, see challenges, see lessons. And surround yourself with other light, spirit, awake, love, and divine people. All right, what are some critical focuses? Well, the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals are a critical focus. Why are kids 
that are born into our world not immediately doing project-based learning around solving the sustainable development goals. What could be more effective than education being about solving society's most pressing challenges? All right, this is surface level. Let's get a little crazier. What is the source code of reality? Right now, we have quantum field theory and we have general relativity. And for the last hundred years, we've been trying to find a theory of everything. Combining the strong, the weak, and the electromagnetic forces with gravity. Quantum mechanics is the reason why we have computers, smartphones, internet, GPS, and MRI. It's predicted that a unification theory would produce unprecedented advancements for civilization. Creating new technologies with understanding the source code of our reality would solve the sustainable development goals faster. What are other portals into our source code? Well, what you see here in the bottom right is the C. elegans, which is a nematode worm. What you see in the top right is its cell lineage, which so shows every cell division from the zygote to the adult. What you see in the left side is its neuronal wiring diagram, meaning the whole genome is sequenced and the connectome is mapped. An organism that's completely mapped provides an unprecedented study of molecular and developmental biology. The source code of the organism is a portal, a call to adventure that will unlock tremendous meaning and flourishing. How about a completely different portal? This is La Sagrada Familia in Barcelona, España. Antoni Gaudí combined nature with religion and architecture like never before. The columns mirror trees and branches. It teleports you off of Earth. The groundbreaking was 137 years ago in 1882 and it's in progress, still unfinished. But this is transcendent. It's awe-inspiring. Artists can create portals. Do kids even know that they can focus on understanding our source code? What will happen when we learn the source code? One theory is Ouroboros. Simplicity evolves complexity, which creates simplicity evolving complexity. Simplicity evolves complexity, which can then house the next simplicity, which will then evolve complexity again. So if you take the ranked linear hierarchy of complexity from source to the stars, the atoms and the stars, to the evolution of the planet, to the evolution of single cell, multi cell organisms, all the way up until humans and the complexity of the human brain making entire civilization on this planet. And you take that linear hierarchy of evolution and you wrap it around into a circle, the simplest part 
becomes embedded in the most complex part. And if we reject linear causality and time and focus on cyclical ouroboros style of thinking and feeling and connecting, we can experience how this is God's source creation and the divine self-actualizing. And this may be why we have a calling to adventure for the source code. We may be being called to create more simplicity, which will evolve complexity and continue the cycle. But there are no guarantees. Civilizations before us have collapsed and we are in a culture war. Don't get distracted by the culture war. Be open-hearted, yet discerning, vigilant, focused. Exclusion plays a critical role. Call security if the culture wars get into your sense-making mechanism for understanding the ultimate nature of reality. It's true we've also had a history of incredible cooperation. A hundred plus billion humans built the ubiquity in water, food, shelter, electricity, transport, computers, internet before us. But billions died in wars and genocides over land, religion, and resources. Now, we have exponential technologies like biotech, neurotech, AI, robotics, and quantum computing being democratized faster than ever. We incurred the twin nuclei problem in 1953 with unlocking the godlike power of the atom and the cell. We are ethically, morally, and spiritually in kindergarten with godlike technologies. We are in a wisdom race experiencing the perfect amount of challenge for us to rise to the occasion and prosper. Our levels of individual and collective wisdom need to rise up faster than our desire for greed, power, and control. We are now gods, but for the wisdom. It's time to diversify our asset of consciousness across the cosmos before either evolution or we ourselves snuff us out like the anomaly we are. The moon, Mars, underground, in orbit, we have a massive responsibility to spread this light of consciousness and the next cycles of creation. But what about traveling faster than the speed of light? What other aspects of our source code, if we unlocked, could spread consciousness faster? Staying focused on the ultimate nature of reality is paramount. There is nothing more important than our communion with the divine, bringing our gifts forth, understanding our source code in the next cycles of creation. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so much for being here. Thank you.